The numbers are high. The state of Missouri says as of today, nearly 22,000 people have tested positive for COVID-19. Yet new evidence from the CDC shows that figure is nowhere close to the real number of cases in our state. The I-Team's PJ Randawa finds out why the numbers don't match up. Pull up. Hey, how are you? Brace yourself. That's a little tickle up your nose. And in a matter of days, you'll know if you have COVID-19. We have the process down to literally, it takes two minutes from the time they pull into the tent. Traffic at testing sites is increasing, and Missouri's official numbers show it. Across the state, 397,000 people have been tested so far, with just 5.5% testing positive. Yet according to a new antibody study by the Centers for Disease Control, these numbers don't come close to capturing the true prevalence of COVID in our state. Dr. Alex Garza, head of the St. Louis Metropolitan COVID-19 Task Force, explains. Those are people that are sick enough to go and get tests. But we know that there's people out there that don't get that sick or don't get sick at all, and so they don't get tested. The study tested blood samples from patients in Missouri, New York, and a handful of other states. The patients went to clinical laboratories for non-COVID-related testing, such as cholesterol screenings. The CDC was looking for COVID-19 antibodies in their blood samples, and a pretty large percentage of the population in Missouri appeared to have them. 24 times the amount that we thought we had uh, based on the, the nasal swab tests. And so, um, so it was a pretty impressive uh, number. That means for every positive nasal swab done here and recorded here, there are at least 23 other people in the Show Me State who've had coronavirus, but never been officially tested. Missouri unfortunately had the highest, uh, uh, had the highest amount of difference, but in other places where there was uh, probably much more um, testing that was being performed, uh, that number was, was lower. Despite the findings in the study, Dr. Garza says we still have a long way to go before we achieve herd immunity, which can provide a level of indirect protection. Herd immunity uh, is, is when you reach around 65%. The percentage that we uh, derived from, from, from this study was around 2.6. Dr. Garza says even in New York City, once an epicenter for the virus, only about 20% of the population may be immune. I don't think we can count on that coming anytime soon. I believe we'll have vaccine before we'll reach natural herd immunity. As we wait for the virus to ease its grip, those who can continue to get tested. While others may one day be surprised to learn their bodies have already fought off the virus that's claimed so many lives. For the I-Team, PJ Randawa, Five on Your Side. The CDC isn't the only one studying COVID cases in our state. A study out today in the Journal of the American Medical Association looks at how many previously unidentified COVID deaths might have happened in Missouri. You can read more by clicking on this story at KSDK.com.